meteorologist Chris Michaels, most of the area dry, but we've got some small but mighty storms out there. Uh, currently speaking, a few downpours in Grayson County just to the north and to the west of Independence. These are moving very slowly, but I really want to dive into these two storms, one right on the Patrick Floyd County line, the other around Ferrum. And what we're going to do is take a 3D view of this. You can see it topping out around 40,000 feet. So that's a sign of a strong storm with heavy rain with lightning and the possibility of some hail because it's reaching into the really cold part of our atmosphere. Same can be said for the storm that's just to the west of Highway 40 near Ferrum College. You can see that topping out around 30,000 feet. So each of those storms, while they're small, they could contain some small hail, some lightning, some heavy rain. That's going to be the case as we head through the afternoon. Not everybody's going to get wet, but you see these spotty storms developing between now and about 6 or 7 p.m. simply because it is downright hot and soupy out there. So when you have that air at the ground level, it rises up our mountains and creates these spotty storms. After sunset, things are really going to start to calm down for us. So as far as storm impacts go, any kind of wind damage is pretty unlikely, but any storm that does form while spotty will have that lightning, heavy rain and the potential for some small hail. We actually saw that yesterday in uh, Covington and in Montvale. Otherwise, temperatures, they're only going to rise a few more degrees, but we're already in the mid to upper 80s across a large chunk of the area. 92, your magic number for Lexington, Lynchburg, Danville, Martinsville and Roanoke, 87 in Blacksburg, high of 86 in Withville. First pitch for the Salem Red Sox against the Winston-Salem Dash. Temperatures 85 at first pitch at 7.05. 80 around the seventh inning and hopefully with a Sox win by the ninth inning with temperatures in the mid topper 70s. Then we transition into the weekend. I told you at the beginning of the newscast, 88% was an important number for the weekend. That's the percentage of weekends that we've seen rain in Roanoke and Blacksburg. Maybe not quite as often in Lynchburg and Danville, but still pretty impressive there. Not everybody getting wet again this weekend. Similar to today, tomorrow, because of the heat and humidity, we'll see a few spotty storms around. Maybe not quite as much on Sunday. Temps in the upper 80s and lower 90s. High pressure then coming in and really camping out as we approach the holiday weekend toward the 4th of July with the jet stream far to the north. That means more heat, probably more humidity too. So with highs in the upper 80s to mid 90s and humidity going up a bit, there's the chance that the heat index or the feels like could approach triple digits in areas east of the Blue Ridge Parkway. We'll keep a close eye on that. We're letting you know of the potential for now. We'll let you know if that becomes any more likely as we get closer to the 4th of July. Meanwhile, we're on repeat mode, upper 80s, low 90s each afternoon. The chance for a spotty storm or two, small but mighty, with low temperatures overnight, we're really not getting a break with lows 65 to 70 degrees pretty much each night. Air conditioners are getting quite a workout this yes, week. Yes, don't make them too cool. You don't want them freezing on you and overworking.